Hello everyone. In this video I'm reviewing the Dr. Dreadful Nuclear Explosion Mix. Looks gross, tastes great. This was released by Tyco in 1995. It was part of the Radioactive Experiment Series. Let me turn the box around. They made it a total of three different ones. You have the nuclear freeze, the nuclear explosion, and nuclear blob. Ugh. Pretty cool, huh? I remember doing the nuclear freeze when I was a kid. These other two, never did those. Okay, I'm going to need some cups and water and stuff like that. Let me go get that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my water and measuring cups and everything. Let's take a look at the directions. Make foaming drinks that taste fantastic. Mmm. Doesn't seem too difficult. Comes with two mixed packets. You can make a total of nine servings with this kit. This was like an alternative to the drink lab. This is just a small little kit you can play around with, but I assume it does the same thing that the Dr. Dreadful Drink Lab did. But let's get on with it and find out. Okay. Instructions. Need to read them, right? Pour a quarter cup of water and add one teaspoon of explosion mix number one. Stir until dissolved. Okay. These measuring cups I'm using, these beakers, are from the Dr. Dreffel Drink Lab. I was looking around for something to use. I was like, well, those look pretty cool. One teaspoon. This stuff smells pretty good. Um, smells like a... Some sort of berry flavor. Well, that's a nice color. Bluish. Alright, let's give this a stir. One thing, I, I think I've mentioned this in my other Dr. Griffith videos is lots of times you always have problems trying to get the powders and stuff to dissolve. You'll just stir and stir and stir and stir. Okay. Set that off back there. Let's move on to the next step. Take a look at directions again. In the second beaker, we're going to put an eighth cup of water and one teaspoon of explosion mix number two. All right. Eighth of a cup. All right. Let me open up this other packet here. See what's in here. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe how this thing smells. This powder's kind of clumpy too, so don't know how well it's going to work out. Give me just a second here, guys. I'll try and break it up a little bit. This is going to turn out. The first mix seemed to be okay, but this second, I don't know. Mm. 
Well, I don't know. It's, it looks pretty weird. It's cloudy and got pieces of stuff in it, so I don't know what's going to happen. With these old sets, you know, that involve like food and everything like that, you just have to expect, you know, little mishaps, you know, and stuff not being good. Okay, so both of these are stirred. Now what you want to do is you want to bring a bowl or a dish of some kind. We're going to put this fluid here and there. Because if everything goes well, it's going to overflow. So here we go. Well, it actually worked. That was pretty cool. Boy, is it foaming up. Foaming real good. It's a pretty color, isn't it? I love that blue. You know what? Even as old as this set is, I'm going to take a sip. Hold on just a second. Ooh. Uh, kind of hard to describe the taste it's definitely not a berry taste it's not really all that tasty but like i said this is an old set it might have tasted fantastic you know when it was uh new but it doesn't taste good right now uh well that's it for this video i hope you enjoy watching i'll catch you next time later